happy Oculus Quest 2 launch day! If you've received your device already, then this video may come in handy. I've been using the Quest 2 for about 4 weeks now, as you may know, time really flies, so I wanted to share 20 tips and tricks that I believe will make your VR experience with this better. If you've been watching this channel for a while, then you may recognize some of these from my Quest 1 tips and tricks video. Still, I hope I can surprise you with a few new ones. Hey everyone, Cass here, if you'd like to see more videos like the advanced tips and tricks video I got planned then consider subscribing. Your subscription will help this channel a lot. And now time to buckle up and join me beyond reality. Tip number one, backup and restore save files. Okay, first tip is for those who is coming from Quest 1. There is a way to transfer your save files from Quest 1 to Quest 2 via SideQuest. Now, you don't need to do this if the game supports cloud save, but not a lot of developers make use of that. So to backup your save files, connect your headset to SideQuest. If you don't know how to use SideQuest, I made a tutorial on it which I will link below. Then go to this icon at the top right to view current installed apps. Here you can click the cogwheel icon to back up the games one by one or use this backup restore all button to do all games at the same time. Please bear in mind that this does not work with all games as SideQuest can't always access every save file. I tried this myself with Arizona Sunshine though and Trover Saves the Universe and it worked with Arizona Sunshine but Trover did not. But it's better than nothing. Oh and this could also be handy if you need space on your quest but don't want to lose your save file. Tip number 2. Change your privacy settings. With the Oculus Quest 2, you have to merge your Facebook account now too, unfortunately. You should know I don't stand behind this decision, I really wish Facebook didn't do this, but I am a tester so I can't stop using Oculus devices and since you're watching this, you probably had your own reasons to get one too. So here's a tip to at least check your privacy settings before you start playing. You can change these settings in your Oculus app by going to settings and then under account, find privacy settings settings. These are my settings. I think the settings you might want to check for sure is the Facebook name one. Put this to only me to avoid people seeing your real name. You can also access these settings in your Oculus Quest by going to settings, device and then privacy. Unfortunately, there aren't a lot of settings yet, but hopefully we'll get more in the future. I do recommend staying informed and educated on this topic so together we can find ways to protect ourselves until then. Of course, if I find out anything, I will update you on this channel. Tip number 3. Install games without putting on your headset. Now, an Oculus Quest 2 is not so fun without some games, so I got a nice tip for you for downloading and installing Oculus games directly from your phone so you don't need to put on the headset to wait until that progress bar is finally 100%. You can just open the Oculus app on your phone, make sure to connect your Oculus Quest first by going to settings and then tapping your VR device. Once it's connected, find a game you want to play, purchase it if you haven't yet and then click the blue button to install it on your Oculus Quest directly. You can then see the progress right from your phone so you can just chill out on the couch until it's done. Tip number 4. Connect to Wi-Fi. The easiest method. So do you ever change your Wi-Fi password? I do it every few months just to be safe. Maybe I'm a little paranoid, but if you're like me, then it might be nice to know that you can also use the Oculus app to change your Wi-Fi network and password. It's nice to do it in the app because it's much easier to type your password or maybe copy and paste from your password vault on a phone than inside the headset. Tip number five, feel extremely cool with this shortcut. There is one cool feature that you absolutely should know of, Pass Through, which is basically the software that turns the sensors on the headset into cameras that show the room you are standing in. In the settings under experimental features you have the pass through shortcut option. If you turn that on you can double tap the size of your headset to turn pass through on very easily. Could be useful if you need to pet your cat because you're spending more time in VR than with him. 
Tip number six, change your virtual environment. When you launch your headset, you'll be in the standard virtual environment. It's pretty and all, but after a while, you may get bored with it. So what you can do is go to the settings, then under virtual environment, you can download new environments like Cyber City. Activate it after downloading, and it will put you in this cyberpunk-like world every time you start your headset. I love this one. It's one of my favorites, but you can also choose for the best true environment, which makes you feel like you have an AR headset. Two. Tip number seven, hand tracking useful settings. Also in the settings under device, you can find the hand and controller settings. Turn on hand tracking here if you haven't yet, because it's a super cool way to navigate the headset with just your hand, so without the controllers. You can also turn on the auto switch between hands and controllers option here, which I find very useful as sometimes you just want to check something really quick in VR that may not need controllers. Using just your hands can just be faster sometimes. Tip number eight, feel like you're in Minority Report with browser. So the Oculus Quest comes with a built-in internet browser called Browser. <laughs> yes, very creative, I know. But what's cool with this browser is that it can open multiple tabs now, which wasn't available before. So if you press this plus icon at the top, it opens three tabs in total, which makes it look like you have three monitors. Now if you use hand tracking here and also turn on the best true virtual environment, it really feels like you're living in the movie Minority Report. This is just a perfect way for casual browsing the internet and getting a feel of what it will be like working in VR in the future. Since we are at tip number 9, let's talk 90Hz. For 90Hz mode to work on the Quest 2, you may need to activate it manually first. Keep in mind that this feature may not be available at launch yet, but after some time you should be able to do this by going to settings, then under experimental features, you can toggle the 90Hz mode on. Oculus said that they will make this mode available first for Oculus apps only like browser and the home environment. After some time they will fix the issues with the Guardian and then they will open up this feature for games and apps too. When this happens we don't know yet but I will keep you updated. Tip number 10, lens adapters. So if you wear glasses, you can order prescription lens adapters and put it on your Quest. It's not cheap, but it does protect your lenses as glasses could scratch it. If you already have prescription lens adapters for Quest 1, then good news here because Quest 2 uses the same lenses size, so you can just use the same ones for Quest 2. We have Witmo VR lens adapters here for Cherry, and as you can see, it fits. Tip number 11, motion sickness. Now, if you have ever gotten sick in a car or watching a 3D movie before, then chances are you will get motion sick in VR as well. Please don't be sad though, because I've gotten motion sick too a lot and I got better at it. Just make sure that you start with comfortable games first. You can check the comfort level per game in the app store and if a game is more intense, make sure to check the settings in game as well before you start. If a game is built right, you can change settings to your liking. Like like smooth or snap turning, teleportation or uh, smooth locomotion. Every human is different, so try every setting and see what works for you. If you want more tips on motion sickness, check out my dedicated video on it. I will link it below. Tip 12 already. Oculus Link. Now two tips incoming for those who got a VR ready PC. Because you can connect a compatible USB cable from your Quest to your PC to play PC VR games using Oculus Link. Just make sure you installed the Oculus Home app on Windows and have it launched. Then plug a USB cable, preferably a high quality USB 3.1 Gen 2 one. I recommend using the official Oculus Link cable as many other cables can be inconsistent though. However, this could get better once Oculus Link is out of beta finally later this year. But once plugged in, get inside the headset, wait for a pop-up that asks for permission, allow it and you're in. If you don't get the pop-up, you can also launch it via the settings then quick actions menu. Tip number 13. Stream PC VR games wirelessly with virtual desktop. 
Now, there's an option to play PC VR games wirelessly. Here as well, you will need the VR ready PC, then you need the app Virtual Desktop, which you can get for 20 bucks, and lastly, you will need an excellent 5 GHz Wi Fi connection. You also need a patch from SideQuest to make this feature work. I made a guide on how to do all this uh, last week, so I will link that in the description. Check it out if you want to get started with this streaming method. I recommend checking it out as it is my favorite way to play PC VR games now with the Quest 2. Tip number 14. Stream gameplay for parties. Uh, when we are allowed to do those again, I mean. But this tip is a way to show people what you're playing. This is a great feature if you have any friends or family over. You can easily cast your gameplay to your phone and you can also cast to your TV if you have a Google Chromecast. You can do this from within the headset by going to the share tab, then cast. Here you can pick whether you want to cast to your phone or your Chromecast. Yes, and Jack and Brandon are our Chromecast names. It's kind of my weird thing to give our devices male names. You can also cast without being in the headset by using the Oculus app. Do that by pressing this icon at the top right. Tip number 15 extends on the previous tip, launching games while streaming. So if you cast to your phone, you can also tap on the screen to get extra options. Things like launch apps and reset headset view will be available. Trust me, these options are super helpful if you want to help a VR newcomer with their first experiences. Tip number 16, Bluetooth. Again, in the settings, then experimental features, you also have the Bluetooth option to pair and connect Bluetooth headphones. It works with most Bluetooth devices and even the Apple AirPods Pro, which uses Bluetooth version 5. This is really nice, however, it is still experimental, so it's very buggy. The one game I want this feature for the most is Beat Saber, and unfortunately, it doesn't work at all with Beat Saber. Hopefully, Oculus will fix this in the future, but you can use this with other games which can be nice but do keep in mind it has latency tip number 17 return games oculus policy so what if you've bought the game and it makes you extremely motion sick or it's so not your style that you regret it immediately well then it may be nice to know that oculus has an acceptable game return policy where you may return apps games and many experiences purchased through oculus for any reason, so long as you submit your request within 14 days of purchase and you have engaged with the content for no more than two hours. You can submit your refund request in the purchase history page, which you can find if you log in at oculus.com on your PC, click on your profile avatar, then go to orders. Tip number 18, reset view. Now, when you enter VR, there are going to be times you may find that the app is not facing your front. To fix that, you can reset your view. You can do that by opening the menu by pressing the menu button on the right controller, then go to the settings icon, then under quick actions, you can find the reset view. Click on it to stand in the position you want and then click confirm to recenter. Tip number 19, cleaning headset. Okay, so you've sweat into your headset or you let someone else try it and it got dirty. You may want to clean your headset. So to clean it, I recommend using a clean and dry microfiber cloth for the lenses. Don't use any liquid or chemical cleaners. To clean the exterior, only use non-abrasive antibacterial wipes and wipe gently. I also recommend getting an additional face cover one that's easily cleaned like leather ones. VR cover has some coming up, which I'm actually testing right now. So I will have a review of these coming up soon, but spoiler alert, it's comfortable. So I will put a link below in case you cannot wait. Tip number 20, night display. It is only appropriate to end a video with the night display. This feature is handy if you are just about to go to bed, but you want to get some VR in first. Well, in the settings on the device, you can turn on night display, which makes the colors warmer. It gives it a yellowish tint, which can be easier for your eyes. 
And that's it for my beginner's tips and tricks. Remember, you can use most of these tips for both the Quest 1 and Quest 2 as they use the same software. I have more tips, but uh, they may be a little bit more advanced because it's things like how to increase the resolution to make everything look better and, for example, how to check frame drops. If you're interested in this video, give this video a thumbs up so uh, I know I should uh, make more of these and uh, they just help a lot. And let me know if you enjoyed it. If you got more tips yourself, put them down below in the comments and maybe I can include it in my next video. If you got some time left, why not support us by watching more videos on the screen right now. This is also the last day you can enter our Oculus Quest 2 Plus Elite Strap Battery Giveaway. So uh, don't forget to enter using the link in the description. And uh, a special thanks goes to all our champions, especially these patrons down below. Really, your support means the world to us. And as always, virtual reality on.